Right, I'm going to quickly show you how to do a drop ship or a direct dispatch order to a customer who might be the other side of the country to where you live. Uh, the most important thing about drop ships is don't send the product, don't send the order to them until you've had the money off them. I'm not going to go into details on how you do that, but get the money whether it's bank transfer or PayPal, as long as you've had the payment, then you can do the order and send it to them. I'm just going to quickly go through here. Um, I'll just put stain in there and then search that. So stain remover, stain away, that's what she wants. So click the little handbag, add to cart. And then that's added to the cart. But remember that you have got the facility to send a free catalog pack to them. And the easiest way to find that, you can either type in catalog. And that will bring up all of the sales aids. And you have to scroll through. In fact, there it is there. You can add that or another shortcut without going through all of the other sales aids is what I found if you type in customer then there's the customer pack so add that it's well worth doing because you might get more orders from them so once you've done that then click on the little handbag and go to checkout so now obviously it's got your details there and what you need to do now is click plus new address and this is where you put in the customer's details. Then you need to fill out the customer's details, the shipping address, and all of the asterisked items have to be filled in. And when you get to the phone number, if you've got their phone number, you can put it in. If you haven't, put yours in. And if you look at the bottom here, you can save in the address book. And that means if it's a regular customer, that address will be saved so it makes it easy the next time you need to send something to them. If it's just a one-off, then what I'd do is untick that, otherwise your address blue address book is going to get uh, very full. So I'll I'll just save that this time and then click ship here when you've made sure you've filled everything mm. out. So now you see it's been added in there and it's got the customer's details and that's where it's going to be shipped so the option there to ship to yourself and to other addresses but now the most important thing is the dropship item is highlighted that it's going to go to that customer and then choose shipping method 395 unless it's something they want to pay the extra but make sure you don't do that unless they've paid you and then check you've got the product in there you've got the catalog pack in there when you're happy with that just click next and then my billing address is the same which it isn't because it's a drop ship so you've got everything there check over here ship to Joan Collins and so it's going to that customer and when you've done anything everything then just click place order